Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 uh, practice test for the EOC, practice test 2, I should say. Question number 56. The question says a karate instructor recorded attendance in each of his classes uh, each day in the table below. So it's got the Monday through Sunday thing going on there. Um, the instructor realized that the digits for Friday's attendance were reversed. How will the range of the data change with the correct value for Friday's attendance? So the only thing that changed here would be Friday's attendance is now reversed to be 32. Everything else stayed the same. For range, I'm not going to use an advanced method, a, a more advanced calculator method that I would for mean, median, and mode, but I am going to show it to you in case there isn't a practice test question like this. My suggestion, if you have this type of thing where, uh, this type of question where only a couple things change, in most of the questions I've seen, at least two things change, uh, my suggestion is that you actually go into your calculator and make a list. If the question is about mean, median, or mode, because it's easier to do it that way, unless you want to do it by hand, which is totally fine. In that case, the mean would be the average. The median, you'd have to order the numbers numerically and then find the middle. And if there's two in the middle, you have to do the average of those. And then mode would be the one that happens the most. The range just tells you the greatest minus the least. So I'm going to use the magic of subtraction in a second to find the answer to this question. Now, in order to do it if it was mean, median, mode, I would go into stat really quick edit it out. I would put the original column in the first section and any adjustments to the column in the second. So you can see at this 23 here, I flipped it to show that the, uh, the numbers were reversed. So it's exactly the same otherwise. And then I would just go in and I could uh, use that information to uh, find the oops, to find the mean, median, and mode for the questions using the calculator and then it's fine. I, I, I can make a comparison statement so if I were to look at the mean differences I would do the mean of L1 and then I would do the mean of L2 and then I could say that the mean increased by about one or whatever, but they're not asking what mean and median and range is so easy to do uh, that you don't need to use the calculator to do it, but I did want to show you that just in case. Sorry if I bored you, but it might help you later. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the range difference. So I'm going to do here is just deal with the idea of uh, finding the range, which is pretty simple, obviously. So uh, the flipped number is the 32. So for 18, that would be my smallest for both situations. So on Monday, or for my original calculations, that would be my biggest one would be Sundays of 31. So I do 31, <coughs> sorry, minus 18. So my range would be 13. Now with my new Friday's attendance adjusted correctly, I'm going to do 32 minus 18 and I'm going to end up with 14. So I can say that the range increased, because it goes from 13 to 14, by 1. So my answer to number 56 is just A. So any ones that you can do really quickly like that, that's my suggestion. Um, that's what I would do. But uh, for the mean, median, mode, at least I gave you some idea of where to go with it, because sometimes those can be really annoying and tough. So good luck.